Hey everybody, I had to set up my audio and get everything going right. Um, anyways, I thought I would kind of fool around with this. It's just the flowers. I'll show you real quick, although, although I think we've all seen it. So I got it all set up. It's just spheres where I'm not displaying all of the um, uh, vertices. Don't ask me why I did that. It just happened. And then it turned out to be quite a beautiful little phenomenon with the flowers. I turn it into little flower things. Anyways, so I figured why not try to get the um, uh, this actually this one. Let me show you again. Is the one where uh, whatever you're focused on is kind of pulsing, and then you can use R and F to kind of stretch it out or close it in. So here's where one where I've used the, the R function. Whatever one you're hovering above, you know. And then this is the F function, which kind of flattens it out. I don't think we can really notice if it's already, because this the scale is what gets affected. So, so you could stretch it out like this. <laughs> Where did that one go? Right here. Not sure what's going on with it. Anyways, okay, so it's supposed to be able to adjust the um, the scale based on the R and the F keys. Anyways, we'll work on that another time. <laughs> what, I want, what I want to work on now is um, taking the texture, which is just when I generate the textures up here. Uh, I can't. I haven't looked at this code in forever, so this is why I yeah. Texture ID position scale okay so where's the texture coordinates oh the texture coordinates are actually part of the uh, right here isn't it yeah position and texture coordinates so this will affect all of them at the same time which is fine you know but um, what we need to do with that so it's in vertices 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 C position colors can okay so I'm just getting a sense of where everything's at here so EBO indices okay so here's the area buffer vertices are in there C positions in there texture ID scale and then it's copies everything over so the VBO has everything there and that's fine so copy data into vertex buffer object GL buffer sub data area offset vertices size of vertices vertices see the offset starts at zero and it goes the length of vertices okay so that's what we need to do so once we get our data manipulated, we need to do that. But for subdata, which is actually done every frame right down here. So let's put that right here as well. Although we're going to just hardwire this in, the offset's going to be zero. Size of vertices, vertices, we're not going to reset offset, we're not going to use offset again, so there it is. So that updates your vertices. So then right here, um, modify vertices array as you wish. Okay. So in order to do this, what are we doing? Sphere div vertices, okay, so. So I to sphere div, J to sphere div, okay. And then it's I times 90, J times five. Let's just copy this little loop here real quick. We're not gonna use the whole loop, we're just copying it because I don't wanna do it any other way. <laughs> I'm just making this as easy on me as possible. Okay, and we're not going to pay any attention to the position. We just want to modify the. Yeah, this will make them random every every frame, which we could try that first to see what that does. But we're not going to leave it this way. That'll probably mess up everybody's. Yeah, see, look at that. That's wild. Although that looks cool. You know, it really does. But what we want is a nice smooth transition. So the texture coordinates um, initially are set to this random, right? So between 0 and 1. 
So all we want to do is just, you know what we could do? Yeah, we could just go like this, plus equals each one, and then just 0 0.01, I have no idea. And then we have to check each one, obviously. Oh, I don't want to retype everything either. I'm so lazy today. I, Of course, I haven't done programming in weeks, weeks, except for doing the Clash of Code. Okay, three. If that is greater than one, just happens to get there, then set it equal to zero. And then we want the same thing for the next one. Only here it's plus four, plus four. Okay. So we're adding to it, check the max amount. Okay, that that could be a better transition. It's it's quite fast. Okay, we want to slow it down so we can actually see it. Let's go. Ten times slower. I don't know if we'll be able to see that. There we go. Now that looks cool. <laughs> It does. I mean, we can go even slower. Let's go even slower, because obviously the computer and GPU is doing this, CPU is doing this. Okay. There we go. That's nice and slow. That looks bizarre, doesn't it? Although that speed I like maybe four times as fast. Let's see. Here's one of the inverted ones. That looks cool, too. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.